Hi, my name is Dennis Sheely, and today I'm going to be reading my book, My Little Golden Book About Dinosaurs, which you can pick up at Coles.com along with this lovely plush Triceratops. All right then. My Little Golden Book About Dinosaurs. Millions of years ago, before people existed, the Earth belonged to the dinosaurs. Some dinosaurs were bigger than houses, and some weighed more than elephants. Others were so small you could hold them in your hand. Meat-eating dinosaurs hunted other dinosaurs for food. A predator like Allosaurus had good eyesight and a good sense of smell. It could attack and move quickly. Other meat-eaters, like Ornolestes, scavenge, eating dead leftovers of other dinosaurs. <laughs> Yuck! It's possible that dinosaurs like Dilophosaurus hunted in small groups. The pair of crests on their skull may have helped the pack members identify each other. Other small dinosaurs, like Shuvia, probably ate lizards and insects. Other dinosaurs ate plants, but these animals weren't defenseless, though. Ankylosaurus was tank-like. Its back was covered in hard, knobby plates for protection. It also had a heavy club at the end of its tail that it could swing at attackers. Watch out! Stegosaurus, another plant eater, had a spike tail to swing at its enemies. Triceratops was a plant-eating giant with lots of armor. The bony frill protected its neck, and its three sharp horns were perfect for fighting off Tyrannosaurus rex. Tyrannosaurus rex was the king of the dinosaurs. It had strong jaws and huge banana-shaped teeth, perfect for chomping down real hard. But it had to be quick to get past other dinosaurs' sharp horns and spikes. Argentiniosaurus had its massive size to keep it safe. The biggest known plant eater, Argentiniosaurus, must have had to eat all the time. It was longer than three school buses and weighed more than 13 full-grown elephants. Amazingly, all dinosaurs, big or small, hatched from eggs. Huge creatures also swam in the seas and flew in the sky. Mosasaurus and Elasmosaurus were reptiles, like lizards and snakes, that hunted fish and squid. The neck of the Elasmosaurus was about 25 feet long. That's four times longer than a giraffe's neck. Flying reptiles like Pteranodon have wide wings made of skin that stretch between their long, skinny arms and their short back legs. The biggest flying reptile was Quexicodilus. Its wingspan was larger than a fighter jet. What happened to these dinosaurs? Scientists think that an asteroid, a giant piece of space rock or metal, hit the Earth. The explosion sent dust and ash flying into the air, turning the skies very dark for a long time. Without sunlight, plant life couldn't have survived. Soon there wouldn't have been enough food for most dinosaurs, especially the big ones. Luckily, dinosaurs left fossils behind. Fossils are bones or teeth or footprints buried in clay or sand that harden into rock over time. Scientists carefully dig them up to study. They also put the fossil skeletons back together, like a puzzle, so that you can see them in a museum. One of the most surprising fossils found so far is the Archaeopteryx, a small dinosaur with feathers. Since it was discovered, scientists have found many other fossils that reveal different types of dinosaurs that had fuzz or feathers. Now scientists think that some dinosaurs, like the ones that walk on two legs, look like... Birds! There's Velociraptor and Deinonychus and Claudiopteryx. 
These fossils show that skeletons of these dinosaurs were similar to skeletons of birds. Like birds, dinosaurs have S-shaped necks and wishbones in their chest. In fact, scientists now believe that birds are the living relatives of dinosaurs that didn't die out. Big dinosaurs became extinct a long time ago, but isn't it exciting to know that living flying dinosaurs, birds, are still all around us? Hi, I'm Dennis Sheely, and I just finished reading my little golden book about dinosaurs. It's part of this great collection of three little golden books featuring dinosaurs, sharks, and bugs. Uh, it is part of the Coles Cares program, which donates 100% of its profits to organizations helping families and children's hospitals in communities everywhere. Uh, you can find this book uh, along with this plush uh, dinosaur for $5.00 at uh, Kohl's.com. Right. This reading has been brought to you by the Kohl's Cares Program. Everyone here is hoping that you and your families are staying safe, healthy, and happy.